Hi, and welcome to this video on designing an interactive radio button with Figma. So in today's video, we will create two radio variants, selected and unselected. We'll also create three different states of each variant, default, hover, and focus. Then we will connect those variants with the prototype tool to create an interactive radio like this. If we hover, if it changes states, focus will be darker. And then if we click, it will be activated. Also, if we click again, it will be back to its default state. All right, let's get started. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Let's get started by creating a new design file. Rename it to radio. Let's go to the ellipse tool. Let's hit the shift key and draw an ellipse of 40 pixels by 40. Then let's draw new ellipse. On top of the precedent ellipse, hit the shift. Let's draw an ellipse of 30 pixels by 30 pixels. All right. Let's change this color to a darker gray and give it a stroke of two pixels, two pixels and a dark gray. Next, remove its fill color and center it on top of the first circle. Again, let's create another circle of 20 pixels by 20 of size, center it and give it the same dark gray, the second one. All right, let's select all my ellipses and center vertical, center horizontal. Then let's create a new component. Let's give it a name of radio. And then let's create new variant. All right, for my first components that hide the third ellipse and the first one. And also for my second variant, hide the third and the first one and the second one. Give it a blue color. Let's show again the second one and give it also the same blue color. So this will be unselected states and this will be the selected radio. All right. Now in my properties, let's go and rename that to style. And the first one will be unselected and second variant style would be selected next select the radio frame and create a new property variant and rename it to states this will be default also be default all right let's create a new variant of the first one let's give the frame stroke all right change its color so we can see our component frame, this new variant, I'm gonna align it beside my empty or unselected radio. And let's go here and reveal the first ellipse. And I'm gonna give it a light or a lighter color. Then select the variant frame and instead, let's rename it to hope for it. Let's create another variant. Let's rename its states to focused. And then change the ellipse field color to a darker gray. Slightly darker than the hover. That's great. Let's go to the selected variant. Create new variant. And then let's go and reveal the first ellipse. Change its color to a lighter blue. First, let's pick the original blue and let's make it lighter. Come on, see. All right, this will be the hovered state of my selected radio. 
and then one last variant the focus it state let's select ellipse one and make its color a bit dark all right now let's go to prototype and connect the first variant with the hovered one and select while hovering and smart animate Select the second variant and connect it with the third. And let's go to while pressing and smart animate. Then the third one with the first one, on click and smart animate. The first selected one with the second selected one, while hovering and smart animate. Then this will be connected with the last one while pressing smart animate. Then let's connect the last one with the first one on click and smart animate. All right. Now let's go back to our design tab and create new frame. Go to assets, click and drag our component inside the frame, center it. And let's select the frame and click the preview button to see our radio in action. All right. If we hover, you see the state will change. If we press, it will become darker. And if we click, it will become activated. Again, click again, it will be back to its default state. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. You can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below. And if you are looking for more interactive components, then you should check out Master UI Plus. Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components. And this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.